Nothing gets your portfolio high like the marijuana stocks. Had to. But to be totally blunt, I am worrying that maybe the easy money's been made here. Look at Canopy Growth, CGC. That's a diversified Canadian cannabis producer. This is the one that Constellation Brands bought a 10% stake in last fall with an option to potentially double its position if it wants to, which I view as the stock market equivalent of the good housekeeping seal of approval. Canada's going to fully legalize weed this October, which is one reason why the stock is totally caught fire. Get this, up 386% over the past six months. Uh, just don't inhale. But can Canopy keep climbing? I fear that with full legalization, the price of pot might come down. That's exactly what happened in Oregon and Colorado. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Canopy's clearly a believer. Just this morning, they acquired Haiku Brands, another diversified Canadian pot producer and retailer, for 269 million loonies. Uh, that's Canadian. A real sign of confidence. So let's take a closer look with Bruce Linton. He's the co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Canopy Growth Corporation. Learn more about this deal and figure out whether or not the upsides may be in the stock. I don't know. Mr. Linton, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Bruce. Have a seat. Have me back. Appreciate All right, it. help me, help me. What's been going on since I've uh, seen you last? Well, I guess it was about uh, not quite two months ago, right? right. So uh, we were only listed in Canada. Now we're on the New York Stock Exchange, the very first for sure marijuana company on the New York Stock Exchange. Right. The good news is they let us on the exchange. The bad news is I'm not yet allowed to touch the bell. It's a thing. All right. um, I think we traded about a quarter billion dollars in total value since I was on the show. Um, we listed uh, what was the first real convertible debenture in the market. So right. it became about a $600 million convert, uh, priced at 4.25. We have a right to retract after three years. Mm -hmm. And Constellation participated for about 200 million in that. Uh, that was very important because Rob Sands is a hard-nosed guy. So yeah. I think he told me, "Look, this is the way of the future." And I also think that, for some degree, look, uh, liquid with marijuana is going to be a big thing, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I think um, the level. You know, when we were here last time, we talked about disruption and pharmaceutical. Right. What happens after that is we announced that we have what's called a no objection letter, which means the regulator for Health Canada, FDA equivalent, mm -hmm. has said your ingredients are solid, please begin your phase 2B clinical trial. So it's a real clinical trial where we'll run it and it's running against the first indication, which is primary insomnia. But it leads to a whole bunch of other platform stuff, which can turn into intellectual property, which if the price of cannabis drops, right, if it became right. almost free, I don't really mind because what it is is an ingredient. And if I put that ingredient into a formulation and that formulation causes you to sleep better and I can take that into the 29 countries right. that are running it as a legal thing, that's big, st big, big stop. So you're both, say, a refinery of it and also uh, now with this acquisition, yeah. a retail. Well, you have some yeah. retail yeah, already. Yeah. but Well, if you got the choice for wholesale or retail and if you right. can do retail with the vertically integrated margins, I, I picture this like prohibition is actually ending in Canada. Okay. And what's going to happen is people are going to come in a store and they're going to have a lot of questions. And if we can run it more like it feels like you're in an Apple store, where it's overstaffed, but you move the margins up, the experience becomes the reason, guess who comes back to my store? And so what we really want to do is make sure that when we exit prohibition, it's elegant. We have about nine months of simple products. And in the second half of 2019, when we start putting beverages on the shelf with Constellation, that it just grabs market share. And Constellation doesn't have exposure much in Canada, right? Because they don't have brands up there. They don't right. have products. So we're kind of going in all in to take as much market share as we can. We just broke some news. So we'll go back to this. Constellation's going to be making, what, like Modelo and Corona? With no. Marijuana? So like in, in Canada, um, we are in the second half of 2019 going to be able to introduce a bunch of new products. Likely beverages, never guaranteed. But things that will allow us to compete better with the illicit market because part of the public policy isn't just to make it legal, it's to squeeze out the illegal. And so we expect we'll be able to make beverages and those beverages will be no calorie. They will cause you to feel upbeat. Um, we'll no, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about going into a bar yeah. and having, let's say, a spiked Modelo? No, we're talking about going into a bar and having a tweed and tonic. And it is something like a category creator, just like, what's a Red Bull? A Red Bull is a Red Bull. What's a tweed and tonic? It is its own standalone. And so this will be That's something. That's insane, man. Well, and listen, I know as we get older, it's really hard to find enough calories. Right. So if I'm pitching you on a zero calorie option, no, that is very, very light quantity. So at the end of the day, if you think about the active ingredients in creating a single right. beverage, it's not a lot of cannabis, which means if the price of cannabis actually falls, my margin increases. But now I called your website today, and yeah. because you've got a new thing on your website, you just changed a lot of formulations, where you don't give the precise amount of THC. You give a range now. Yeah. I mean, is that like, I mean, THC to me is like the proof. I mean, like 86 proof, 
a hundred yeah. proof. I mean, yeah. how do I know that? I mean, is it THC or is it cannabis plain that's in the liquid? So in the liquid, it'll be a combination of cannabinoids. Think of 70, 80 potential mixtures and we'll have three or four types. And what they're going to be targeting is, are you coming home uh, after a busy day and you want to relax? Or are you trying to gear up to go to a comedy club? I can get a six. What's that? Get a six pack. Well, I think we're going to be able to see where it goes. But in Canada, what's happening is the disruptor happens when a real product hits the market in a really structured way and people can make lawful choices. Do I want to fall asleep using Ambien or do I want to fall asleep through this one from the clinical trial from Canopy? Do I want to have a beverage that has alcohol or do I want to have a beverage with cannabis? Well, I'll tell you, that explains a lot about the market cap and may mean, even though the stock is up a great deal, yeah. I could see why someone says, listen, I want to be in. Yeah. Canopy is my realistic Honest play. And we're in like now 11 countries, which right. all have way bigger populations than Canada. Think of Canada as launch pad, intellectual property, and take it global. I am thinking about it. <laughs> well, uh, take it. Get my family on a no-fly list to Canada, though. <laughs> well, actually, maybe a fly list. That's Bruce Linton, Chairman and CEO of Canopy Growth Corp. You learned a lot in that interview. I'm trying to process it myself. Mad Money is back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.